How to fix Bakelite. This is an old push VHF 61 built in about well between according to the internet 55 and um, possibly up to about the uh, early 60s. It's um, one of my favourite radios, looks great. It's got like a, a magic eye green um, little valve in there which lights up bright when it's tuned in properly. Um, but it's had a tumble, fell to the piano, um, smashed to smithereens. I just want to explain how to fix it. Um, so I used um, Old Dark Rapid, which sets in about five minutes, and didn't do too bad a job. Um, some of the bits that didn't quite get quite level um, sanded down, and then went to a fine uh, wet and dry. And it polishes up quite well with um, um, with an abrasive like um, uh, Autosol. And uh, before I put the back on, I just wanted to. Um, show you how primitive the uh, workings are on it. It even sounds old. My kids were small when we got it and the, um, I think the first song it played was like a Chuck Berry song and then a couple of other old rock and roll tunes from the 50s and my kids thought that because it was old that's the only kind of music that it played. It was quite sweet. Um, it's got loads of dust on it. So thinking about it, where it's, it's where it's been in its in its life, it's had um, the dust and DNA from people that have sadly um, departed long ago. So when you when you turn it on, it's got this sort of smell of old dust and the DNA of of, um, of the deceased. So it's like reverse ex reverse exorcism or something. And this is this is made of formaldehyde, so this has got a weird smell as well when it heats up the um, the bakelite. Um, but that's. I just think it's um, crazy the way I used to build these things. One thing I tried which worked quite successfully is so the glue didn't stand out as much because it's quite yellow when it sort of a yellowy colour is um, I sanded down some of the Bakelite and then mixed that with the uh, Araldite before it set off and um, also used that to fill gaps because some of the holes are just so small and complicated I couldn't fit all the smashed Bakelite back so I had to use resin um, to build up layers to fill the holes. Um, I had to glue two bits at once and it was just quite difficult but um, it, it's, you're not gonna <laughs> it bears these scars but I mean it cost me about 30 quid or something and I just wanted to fix it so I'm quite happy with the result and it was just basically um, working with your five minute deadline with um, with the Araldite holding it in one place or using using tape or clamps or whatever to keep it to keep it flat and doing it over five days so that you can wait for it to dry solid um, before you sand it down and and build on it slowly um, so you get it all in, in, um, in, in, in one piece again.